welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be doing a review and unboxing of all my brand new Charlotte Tilbury makeup. I purchased like half of this at Nordstrom and half of it from Charlotte Tilbury online and I'm going to be doing like a frame and frame video thing. We'll see how well that goes so that you can see me unboxing them and also me putting them on at the same time. Again, half of these I bought from Nordstrom and I actually have been wearing these to see how much I like them so I could tell you guys my honest review. And then the other half, this is the first time I ever tried them on. So I hope that you guys really enjoy this. Please let me know if you wanna see anything else, like any other videos. I like doing these kind of things, although these kind of videos really don't get a lot of views. I enjoy it, so whatever. But anyway, let's get right into it. Again, I figured since I was gonna be doing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury, I might as well also try their primer. So I'm trying the Wonder Glow primer. I ripped it off and it just comes in this little sample packet. Ooh, let's see if I can do this. Honestly, please don't pay attention to my dog making lots of noise in the background. Okay, well, this isn't really going as planned. There we go, okay. So it's kind of like a shiny, like shimmery color and consistency can tell so I'm just gonna apply that to my face this is scary because I break out really easily so trying new products is a little terrifying for me I have to look in the viewfinder because I'm not using a mirror so sorry okay it smells good which I'm actually usually very suspicious of because I don't like complete like brands add fragrances because that means it's there's more stuff on your skin but Smells nice. My face is turning red because I was like smashing it in there, but <laughs> we're not gonna pay attention to that. So I have the primer and then first, I don't know if everyone does their makeup this way. Obviously, probably not. Everyone's different, but I do um, concealer first because then I feel like I use less foundation and usually my foundation is more expensive than my concealer my dog wants to come in. Um, so I'm gonna be using the Magic Away Liquid Concealer and this is in the shade one. I always get the lightest concealer because I'm really pale anyway and I like a really bright under eye. Um, so you're supposed to like turn this and then the product comes out. However, it's taking its sweet time. Okay, so I had to cut because it seriously was not coming out. So first con is I get a little nervous when it takes too many turns because I feel like all of a sudden it's just gonna explode everywhere. But I'm actually gonna be using a mirror from another compact to be doing this because I can't see anything in the camera. So it came out and I'm just gonna put it, okay, excuse me. It's really not coming out still under my eye. I'm not a makeup artist, please do not comment and let me know I'm doing everything wrong unless you're trying to be nice. If you're trying to help me, please like comment but if you're just trying to be like you don't know what you're doing obviously i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> this isn't new news okay so i just kind of put that literally everywhere that i have issues which is everywhere and so far i'm a little iffy about that one because it took a long time and this is how much product is actually in it as you can see and it took a lot to get it out of there so we'll see how that. and then i'm going to be using a beauty blender to blend all that in Please do not judge my face during this process. So fret not, obviously I look very pale, but this is what happens when I put concealer on because I buy the lightest shade of everything and I warm it up because I'd rather be too light than too dark and have like a line. So that's the concealer part. I enjoy it so far. It really covered up what I wanted it to cover up, but it doesn't feel heavy. I was using shape tape before and that was aggressive, but I also really liked it. But Maddie Bernard said, if you're still using it, grow up so naturally. I grew up a little bit. So now I'm gonna be using the foundation. This is the Magic Foundation in the shade three. I don't know if this is just me or where I got it, but what is this? Are you supposed to buy a pump? Am I pulling the wrong part off of this bottle? I don't know, but I don't like this at all. Like whatever this is, no, we're gonna get sponsored by Charlotte Tilbury, yikes. But I don't really enjoy this, whatever this is, this applicator, I know you're probably supposed to buy a pump for it or something, I don't know, but this just feels like not useful, honestly. But, and also probably not sanitary the way that I do it, but we're learning. I just kinda like, YOLO it out. Is this not sanitary? Probably, am I gonna break out because my skin gets better? 
the old whatever is on there probably but whatever okay so get a lot of that on my face and also a hair in it so love out oh, still attached love that okay so i'm gonna be blending that in also with my beauty blender also i cut out half of this because it just takes a long time and my videos end up being 45 minutes long so you get the gist of what's going on so i now have the foundation on also for transparency reasons i have worn this like the last couple days because first of all i ran out of foundation my other kind and second of all i really wanted to be able to tell y'all how it wore throughout the day by the time i made this video i love this foundation actually it doesn't feel heavy on the skin but it really covers quite a bit i wouldn't say it's like a full coverage necessarily i would say medium buildable coverage and then i also put the powder on top of it which makes it very like full coverage in my opinion at least it's not as heavy obviously as like the Estee Lauder double wear which is what I was using before but it's a lot more breathable and my skin doesn't feel like whew, clogged down so I put this on top of it this is in the shade one this is the lightest shade again I look very pale until I put color on my face because I would rather be again too light than too dark so I'm just going to take this powder brush from real techniques and like switch this around and put it all over my face. I don't know why I'm telling you this since I'm just doing it, but the only thing I really, I'm being rude about these products despite the fact I actually love them, but there's a lot of fallout when you're like brushing the powder. So when you go like this, a lot of powder fluffs up. Like, can you see that? And I just feel like that's my money just flying away. So I don't know how you prevent that, but that's not my favorite thing in the world. So I just kind of dab that all over my face like it's just getting everywhere and that's fine because i actually really like it and it's a great like coverage and it's also really nice on the skin like it feels good it looks good but it's flying everywhere so don't love that but i think it looks really nice on i still like you can still see a little bit of my blemishes but you know what we're not here to be perfect we're living our best life trying our hardest so whatever so that's finished i the girl at the nordstrom counter who love her she was a lovely lady told me that i could use the swish and pop blusher as a bronzer and a blush i'm sure you can i cannot it's all pink it's all so pink and i tried this a couple times and my whole face was pink so um do what you want with that but i would not do that so i'm gonna be using this little palette that i got this is something i got in the mail this was actually from charlotte tilbury half of this from nordstrom half from charlotte tilbury um i'm gonna be using this lighter color all over my face and then we go back in and contour with that also so i'm just kind of this is not as bad like still not great but it doesn't there's not as much fallout when you're using it so you don't feel like you're wasting product and i also got the lightest shade because i'm very pale even with a spray tan which i don't currently have but I'm always pale and I've had skin cancer scares so I'm not about to go out in the sun no so I actually really like this I think this is great for my skin tone because it's not too dark it's not too orangey I always end up well, I don't really usually end up orange but it's very hard to avoid so I'm always kind of on the lookout for things that might turn me orange okay see already look less like a corpse I actually look very much like a boiled egg when i began this video but not so much now so i used that i don't really do highlight sorry i know everyone like is obsessed with highlight i just don't i can't i don't know how to do it i don't want to do it but i am going to be contouring with that same color the sculpt color and i'm using this it cosmetics for ulta like angle brush okay so i'm just going to be putting the same product on this brush and then doing a real light contour Again, my facial expressions are not as important here. However, I would like to say these are expensive products and you have to use a lot. Maybe I'm just used to really aggressive makeup, but I don't know. I feel like this better last a long time because I obviously like buying nice, like expensive things, but I want them to feel like they're worth it also. So far, 
I do feel like this is worth it. I just want to know how long it's going to last from when I purchase it to when I have to repurchase it because I hit pan. So hopefully I'll remember to keep track of that. I'm not great at this. I just kind of go with it. Whatever I feel. Okay. That's that. Didn't lose a lot of product. Feel pretty good about that. However, I'm creasing, which was to be expected. I always crease under my eyes, but I'm definitely creasing under here. So we're just gonna pretend that never happened. <laughs> oh, I'm actually gonna take the Swish and Pop blusher in the shade The Climax. And I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks and a little bit in the area where I contoured. Also, can you tell I'm going more brunette? <laughs> Who am I? So that's what this looks like again. And she was like, use this part for contour and this part for blush. It's all pink. Again, woman at the Nordstrom counter for seeing this, you were lovely. I trust you, but no, it didn't work at all. So I just kind of like mush it all around in there. Pop it on my cheeks. And kind of in where I did that contour just so it creates kind of like one color Where's it gonna go? all over um, because I don't want any like harsh lines or anything. So I think that looks nice. Honestly, my whole goal with makeup is to make it look like I'm really not wearing 10 tons when I am. Like I don't want people to be like, well, I really don't care what people think, but I don't want to look like I'm really going out. You know, I want it to look very natural and chill. Okay, so the next part I'm doing is my eyebrows. I actually didn't buy any of their eyebrow products because I didn't need new eyebrow product and I didn't want to spend money just for the sake of this video. Sorry. Um, so I'm still just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate to do my brows. I actually did them a little bit earlier this morning, but they obviously did not want to stay that way. So I'm gonna do those really quickly and then I'm going to do my lipstick. My brows are done look the same as they always do and now I'm going to be using this lipstick which I'm not a lipstick person so if I recommend a lipstick it's got to be good because I just don't like them at all but I got the same one everyone else and their brother got which is the pillow talk lipstick in I don't really know what kind like there's different kinds I don't know what this is but it's the pillow talk shade it's really pretty it's very close to my natural lip color again I'm not a real big lipstick person so I don't really want it to look like I have a ton of lipstick on. I just don't love it on me. I don't think it looks great. So I just kind of dab it and then spread it around. So here we go. Do you hear my dog sigh in the background? He's so over me. Oh, -ho. I need to do a video because I, no one noticed this. <laughs> um, actually got lip injections a couple months ago and they're almost gone now because they kind of just like slowly exit your system uh, for the first time and it was, Lovely experience. Uh, I'm not a needle person, so it was also really terrifying, but I love them. Okay. That's usually what I do lipstick wise. I just kind of like dab it around and then spread it with my finger because I just don't love lipstick. So yeah. And then to finish off this look, I'm just going to Fluff my eyelashes out with my spoolie. Also, plot twist, if you actually take care of your eyelashes, they last much better than if you don't. Hmm, should have known that. I mean, that seems really obvious, probably to everyone but me, but I was not taking lovely care of mine before, and so they were getting sparse really early. Like, I have a fill in tomorrow, and I really honestly probably don't need it because they look really good, but I'm doing stuff this weekend, so you know but anyway that is that my mom's calling please hold oh, sorry my mom comes first anyway so this is the finished look really doesn't look like i have that much makeup on at all but that's the goal so my official opinion about this is that i love products i hope they last for a long time because they're expensive but i really do like them consider the only thing i'm iffy about the rest of it i really 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 like it all feels so light on the skin and I just think it blends really well and I really enjoy it. So that's my opinion on that. Let me know if you guys have any questions, but again, yeah, this is the final look. This is the same look I do with every makeup I buy because I'm just really not a huge, wild and crazy makeup person. 
Anyway, thanks.